Hey guys, Wedgerox here from Rocket League Mods. So this is going to be a quick tutorial on applying your own textures to the maps that you create. So to do this we're going to piggyback on the material references we already have, but redirect which textures they use to our own package. So the way to do this is we're going to use one of the textures we can already use, so I'll show you it with semi-transparent and or well opacity based and normal materials. So if I select this one for instance, this is one that we can use, and I get rid of the group name. I make sure that I've selected my own group, so there's that. There we go, path to replica, and I'm going to call this material underscore net one because I'm going to be showing you a few. And I can go into my engine debug materials and find. Where is it? Did I go past it already? There we go, this one. Create a new material instance. Make sure that I select the correct package to put it into. And call it mat underscore net 2. So now we have these two different materials. So this one with this one here in the left, this is the semi-transparent, which is the first one that I selected. So it has diffuse and opacity mask. So the diffuse will be your new texture, and the opacity mask will be the texture that will tell it which parts of it is transparent. So if I import my, I find my um, chop shop, here we go, into the maps and find the right texture, so net, here we go, alpha to opacity, so anything, this is just a thing to make it semi-transparent. Um, if I select this and then I click the diffuse and the green arrow, here we go, the um, texture is now selected on this. So this is a child, so it inherits everything from the parents and to override you have to like specifically tell it to override. So you have to check this box. So now, right now you can't see anything because it's completely emissive. So there's nothing there right now. But if I select this with the green arrow again and then click it, there we go, we have a texture. So as you can see it's not completely invisible on the edges that aren't part of the net, but that's okay for now. So I can also set up the physical material here, so if I select um, my sticky walls and I s make sure that it's selected on physical material, it's now selected. So if I exit this, this material here is now semi-transparent. So if I select this on there, there we go, you can see a bit on the bottom, here we go, you can see the net and you can see that it's semi-transparent. So the I'll show you the other material as well. So if I double click this one, brings this up, I we will be presented with this. So first off I'll quickly set up the physical material. And now with the parameter groups, we go into texture parameters and the diffuse. So the diffuse is our texture again. There we go, that's done, and make sure you override it. So all these other things in here, so emissive, normal maps, all that stuff. So if you want to give your texture some depth, you make a normal map for it. If you don't understand what they are, you can always research them. And you end up making these in a different program and then importing them in and using them. So you can edit all of these as long as you make sure that you check these. So that's the both of these materials done and I'll apply this material to the other side. So as you can see, the same material but one of them is semi-transparent and one of them is not. So we'll see this again when we go in game. So if I build all of these now, make sure everything's built and make sure I save it all as well. There we go, that makes sure that my package is saved. So if I go into here now, there we go, create a copy of it, rename it so it will work inside of Rocket League. Make sure you oh, make sure you create a backup of your park P if you're going to use this method. Copy it across. All right. And now, if I run Rocket League, I should find no issues. As I don't have internet, this thing will pop up in a second. 
go, play game, can't connect to the cloud, that's okay. So through the use of this method, we're able to basically inject our own textures into the game. Sort of like how UMod does it, if that's the easier way to think about it. It's actually nothing like it, but you can think about it that way. So in here, you can now see that we have sticky walls on the, on the walls, which is good. And we have sticky walls on this wall as well. It's good. One of them is semi-transparent, one of them is not. So the Word document has more information on this. But this is very exciting and this means that we can now customize our maps even further and create some really, really interesting stuff. So I'm looking forward to seeing what everyone does with this. And happy modding.